All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about Arvada's Airbnb laws. And just so you know, I'm James, this is Aaron, and we are Aaron and James Real Estate. If you like this content, we've got a bunch more videos out there, like and subscribe. We also have a podcast that covers these topics as well. Yep. So let's get into Arvada. The main thing about Arvada is that it's a city that is right next to Denver, very close to Denver and Boulder, but it is legal to do Airbnb there. So that's exciting for people that want an investment in Boulder or Denver, but realize that they're not gonna be in compliance under the law. In Arvada, you will be. Yeah, so Arvada doesn't have the primary residence rule. That's the big name in short-term rentals. Does it have to be the place where you live or can you actually buy a fully autonomous investment property and do it? And in Arvada, you can. So what is in the law for Arvada? The first thing is that each owner can have up to three short-term rental investment properties. So that's great. That's way more permissive than other cities like Wheat Ridge, where you can only have one, but they're also more restrictive in another way. Something else to note about this is that it's three per person. So if you're a married couple, you potentially could have six. Supposedly, yeah. Three per owner, not per couple or per household. So the other way that they're more restrictive is that they have this 240 night cap. And so that's approximately eight months. We don't necessarily understand this. If you're going to allow somebody to do three investments, we're not sure why you put an eight month cap and make the other four months where they have to figure something else out. But that is the situation. So while the 240 nights is annoying, it actually is still a really good investment because you're still going to make more money than a long term rent. And there are some other options that you can do for that four months. Sure. I mean, you could rent for the 240 nights of the year. And then you have another third of the year that you could rent as medium term rental, uh, which Aaron has written a book about, by the way, called American Nomads. Yeah, you can get a traveling nurse, a remote worker and fill that gap. And it's a great way to do it uh, when the Airbnb season kind of slows down in November. So you can just fill that gap when it's already going to be slow anyway. Also, I just love Arvada. Let me just give a shout out to Arvada. I think Whoa. that the light rail goes to Arvada, so that's really convenient. You can get something straight from the airport. The other thing is that their downtown is extremely cute. And then just in general, we kind of pay attention to what city councils and local laws are. And I just think Arvada is usually doing a lot of smart things. So I think just in general, Arvada is a great investment. If you are looking to invest in an Airbnb in Arvada or just looking to buy, sell, or invest in some other way, uh, reach out to us at aaronandjamesrealestate.com. We have links to the website and to our podcast below, uh, and that's where you can find more content.